Tash Dile and welcome to Tibet this week. This is Sakina Bhatt with another edition of Weekly News on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines first. His Holiness the Dalai Lama gives the empowerment of Mahakarunika Lokeshwara in Manali. Hundreds of Tibetan youth gather to deliberate on CTA's 550 vision shaping Tibet's future. Former Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan and Member of Parliament of Lok Sabha from Kangra constituency Shri Kishan Kapoor visits Central Tibetan Administration. Office of Tibet Washington DC with Emory University organized Second Secular Ethics and Youth Leadership Workshop. Three Tibetan monks in Ngaba detained in communicado, one sentenced. His Holiness the Dalai Lama gave the empowerment of Mahakarunika Lokeshwara, the great compassionate lord of the world, to over 8,000 devotees in Manali on Saturday last week. In his introductory remarks, His Holiness said, This empowerment comes from the collection known as the Secret Visions of the Fifth Dalai Lama. During an Avalokiteshvara retreat undertaken in the Potala Palace after consulting the Neching Oracle, the fifth Dalai Lama had a vision of King Sonten Gompo who emerged from the heart of Avalokiteshvara and led him into the Mandala where he received his nine deity empowerment. His Holiness the Dalai Lama concluded his teachings in Manali on Sunday with a short discourse on the eight verses for training the mind and the 37 practices of bodhisattvas and gave the transmission of the mantras of the Buddha, Avalokiteshvara, Manjushri and Aryatara. His Holiness stressed that as human beings we should respect each other and not let our compassion fade even when people take advantage of your kindness. The inaugural ceremony for the three-day 550 Forum was held at the building of Central Tibetan Administration in Dharamshala on Friday last week. Around 100 participants from 13 countries participated this year. CTA President Dr. Lubsang Singhe explained about the inception of the 550 vision of CTA, which was originally inspired from His Holiness the Dalai Lama's advice to hope for the best and prepare for the worst, which aims towards restoration of freedom in Tibet and the return of His Holiness to Tibet. Dr. Singhe also announced that five outstanding youth icons will be selected amongst the participants to be the representatives of youth. The 550 Youth Forum participants gathered to discuss and voice the opinions to advance the cause of Tibet. The forum included programs such as panel discussions, open mic with CTA President Dr. Lubsang Singhe, breakout sessions, group presentations, introduction to Buddhism by Geshe Lagdorla, cultural performance by Tipa, Gorshe and talent show. The panelists discussed on themes such as Tibet and PRC, establishing constructive engagement and negotiations, inclusion of and responsiveness to Tibetans inside Tibet and diaspora, young voices in the Tibetan freedom movement, and CDS leadership towards the 550 vision. The speakers invited for the forum were entrepreneurs, activists, filmmakers, scholars, professors, and young CTA staffs. All the panelists spoke on their individual experiences with regard to creating visionary leadership and resource mobilization. The participants enthusiastically participated in all the plenary sessions and expressed satisfaction and understanding of all the information provided by the respective panelists of different themes. The three-day forum saw an optimum discussion, debate and learning from one another while the participants chalked out action plans regarding the future political status of Tibet. Dr. Singhe, in his concluding remarks, urged the participants to expand the suggestions and recommendations in the next year forum. He also comforted them to face the challenges of criticisms positively and grow from the experience. Former Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan and Member of Parliament of Lok Sabha from Kangra constituency Shri Kishan Kapoor paid a courtesy call on the President of Central Tibetan Administration Dr. Lubsang Singhe at the Kasha Secretariat in Dharamshala on Tuesday this week. Their meeting focused on various issues related to Tibet and the long-standing historical relationship between India and Tibet. 
Dr. Singhe offered gratitude to the Indian government and the state leaders for hosting and supporting the Tibetan people. The Office of Tibet Washington DC in partnership with Emory University organized the second workshop on secular ethics and youth leadership. The three-day event was held at the Tibetan Community Center of the Tibetan Association, New York and New Jersey from August 16th to 18th. Menri Thizen Rinpoche Geshe Dawa Dharge, the spiritual head of the Bon tradition, spoke to the participants about the need for unity and advised the young participants against involving in sectarian and divisive activities. He said doing so could hamper the Tibetan cause. He further advised that they should pay more heed to strengthen their understanding of Tibetan language, culture and history. The objective of the workshop is to inspire, educate and inform Tibetan youths and to promote the teachings of secular ethics as conceived by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. This is the second workshop the Office of Tibet organized, the first being in Woodstock, New York in Karmapa Rinpoche's monastery. Three monks from Tibet's Amdongaba region incorporated into the Chinese province of Sichuan have disappeared after they were arrested by Chinese authorities in separate incidents. The authorities in Ngaba have sentenced one of the three Tibetan monks to four years imprisonment while the other two are held in incommunicado detention. Lopsang Thapke, believed to be around 37 years old, was sentenced last month following his arrest sometime last year. However, details of his charges or well-being are not known. 32-year-old Thuppa from Trozik Monastery was taken by police from his monastery around the end of 2017. Since then, there has been no information about his whereabouts or condition. Thuppa was arrested and imprisoned for protesting and raising slogans against Chinese rule in 2011. Exactly three years before his father's protest during the 2008 Pan-Tibet Peaceful Protest, Thuppa himself staged a protest and burnt the Chinese national flag for which he was sentenced to a year and a half in prison. The third monk, Lopsang Dorji from Kirti Monastery, aged around 36, was detained sometime in August 2018. He was taken away from Kirti Monastery. A former Tibetan political prisoner, Lopsang Dorji, was earlier sentenced in 2011 and served three years in jail. So much for this week's edition of Tibet This Week. See you next time and have a great weekend.